Hello. So yesterday I tried to talk about food and upload the video, but I just couldn't, so I'm going to do it again. I'm going to talk, I guess, about something different about food. I mean, you guys may not have heard it, but I want to talk about something, same exact thing twice. So, um, I guess... Food? <laughs> I don't know. Food makes people happy. Food makes me happy. Mm. We need it to live. And if you're like me, it's comfort. Mm. I kind of like childhood food, like goldfish. And it's not exactly unhealthy either. I mean, it's baked. It doesn't have you know, sugar or anything in it. I've been snacking on those so much. Food can be a distraction from like homework and shit too. <laughs> I don't really know how to talk about things. It's too quiet. I don't know if I talked about not food, but <sighs> okay, spooky whatever time. So, those of you who actually do watch my videos, first, thank you. Second of all, you know that me and my mom are, I guess, sensitive to the paranormal. My mom went to a bar last night, and the owner, her name is, I think, Christy, she's sensitive too. She walked up to my mom and started talking to her, and she, like, held out her hand, get, grabbed her mom's hand or whatever, and read them. And if you don't know, I think it's the left hand that's supposed to be dead, and the right one is the one that palm readers read, because the, I think it's the right hand is the one that's connected to the heart or whatever, or something like that. I read about it years ago. <clears throat> Yeah, I've always been really interested in that kind of stuff. Paranormal, ghosts, but the point is, um, my mom, I guess, talks to people who um, have died that she knew. And, um, it was this. I guess girl that she knew in high school, she went to a fight with her, like a physical fight, not a girl, whatever, I hate you fight. She was in a car accident, I think, on the 28th. This is just what my mom told me. And I guess my mom said that she had felt her around her. Or has been thinking about her. I think the the name of the person that died was um Chris. Her name is Chris. And the weird thing is, I'm sensitive too, but I get more of a somebody watching me. Who the fuck is there? Sense like. My mom feels it more when she's sleeping because she can actually relax. And I get it more when I'm like super hyped or something or when I'm like super freaked out about something. It usually starts when I, it just feels like somebody's watching me or somebody's there. Even right now, like my ears, I don't even know how to explain it. 
It always feels like the like I can hear someone walking or talking, but it's very faint. And it makes me feel like they're like outside the window or something. Like maybe it's a neighbor, but I look and no one is ever there. And I know I'm not crazy. Neither is my mom. And neither is the partner. I mean, she doesn't make any money off telling people this kind of stuff. It's just creepy. Um. I felt like somebody was in the house, and it really freaked me out. This was at 11 and midnight last night, and I called her both times because it, it really felt like somebody was breaking in. I don't know if it's PTSD if I'm being robbed twice or if it's whatever. Maybe that's just making me more aware or sensitive of whatever. But, yeah. And then my friend texted me about two, I think, last night. And I just kind of sat up and I left at the time and I called my mom. I had about five seconds. Not even, I think. I just dialed the number or whatever or hit the call button. And I got a text from my friend saying, Hey, is the your mom driving or something? Whatever. It's really it. It's really bad. The weather is really bad. And I didn't know this. I fell asleep. Um, around one, I think, and the storm had subsided. There was no wind or anything, and it just picked up all of a sudden. And it made me kind of freak out. And I, the first words I said to my mom when she picked up the phone were, are you driving? Tell me you're not driving. And she said that she was going to call me back, which she never did, but she just ended up coming home with McDonald's. Food. See, I kind of tied food into that. But, I don't know, it was freaky. I've always, I guess, been sensitive. I don't think I told you guys this, but when I was, I think, 15, 16 years old, my cat died. And for I think it was about a month, I could feel her, I guess, spirit crawl onto me and lay on my stomach. That's what she did in her last weeks of her life. And I remember I was sick, I had the flu or something, and I had a temperature, I had the window open, I had my bed by the window. It's, oh, it was, I've always had my bed by a window. It's weird. But not the point. I, I had to like hold her on my stomach because she kept trying to climb out. And I didn't know why she was doing that. I mean, I know now animals, when they're dying or since they're dying, they run away. So they don't, I guess, so that they don't hurt the feelings of their owners or whatever. My other cat that died a few months ago tried to do that too. Also, my grandma's dog did that. And I don't know if my brother stopped at that too or if she just got lost. But anyway. <clears throat> After that stopped, I could feel something or someone constantly following me. And I remember my Aunt Michelle talking about, it was either her grandmother or her great aunt or something. They had, she had a paranormal experience with um, either her great grandma or whatever, her great aunt or something. She could see orbs on, I think it was either a picture frame or in a mirror. I did too. But it wasn't in a picture frame or a mirror. It just kind of followed me. I don't know if wives are supposed to do that, but you know that feeling that you get when you like look at a light for too long and it's like you see, like you see combination of like green and yellow and blue and it's all kind of blurry. Well, not blue, green and yellow and it's just 
kind of blurry or whatever. I kept seeing that, like in the corner of my eye. So. <laughs> and I couldn't fall asleep, so last night I just set up eating french fries. There's more food. <laughs> okay, so I guess that was spooky time. Um, I'll see you guys tomorrow, I guess. I kind of want to try and do an art video tomorrow. <clears throat> really sucks that normally on this computer I would be using the camera that's installed on it, or the camera app that's installed on it, but it hasn't been working for like months. Well, not months, because I haven't had this for months. It hasn't been working for weeks. And it's really weird because that was the only camera app that I ever used on this. And I keep trying to find new ones, but they they either crash, require extra stuff, don't do what I need it to do, or the the picture of whatever is weird. I don't know. <sighs> I guess this is okay, but. I can't tell how long I've been recording. I guess I could take my phone and like stop watching. I don't know, I'll figure something out. I'll see you guys tomorrow.